What's up everyone, in this video we are going to unbox and review the Xiaomi Air Purifier 4 Lite, so stay tuned. To begin some reasons you might want to get an air purifier like this is to reduce dust and pollen or to eliminate odors or even effectively reducing bacteria and viruses in the air. Other than this device removing the odor from someone smoking or from your kitchen, this device also filters out allergens such as pollen, dust mites, pet hair, dander and many more things. Moving on another reason many people are considering getting an air purifier is the air quality that is having pollutants all over the globe. Upon checking I was shocked that many states in the United States are currently experiencing high amount of air pollution including PM2.5. Therefore I was recommended by healthcare professional and also many other people to use an air purifier to reduce the effect of air pollution on my body. If you are living in the United States, I highly recommend getting the Xiaomi 3H model which you are seeing currently and I reviewed that in my channel too because this is the United States version of this device. To see the unboxing and review, simply go to the link above and watch the video. Moving on to today's video, this is the 4 light model of the air purifier. Comparing this air purifier to the 3H model, it is newer and it is also the international version of the device. If you are not living in United States and if you are in United States and want to travel with your air purifier, I recommend getting this device and I will tell you why in later in the video. Additionally, you can find the comparison between this device and other devices in my channel or at the link above. Anyway, as you can see, the design of this device is way more modern than the previous version. It is not circle anymore and the design of it is a square shape. Inside the box you can find the power cable which support 110V to 240V, both 50 and 60Hz. This means you can use this device internationally unlike the United States model 3H which only supports 110V at 60Hz. You also get a user manual inside the box. And in the front you get a non-touch screen display. In the back this is how you connect the power cable to the device. Depending on your location and the power, make sure to use the correct adapter. At the back you also get the button which is to turn on and off the display and also reset factor in the device. That little hole you see is the temperature and humidity sensor. At the back we can see the laser particle sensor which is to detect pollen and PM2.5 pollutants. You also can open this sensor cover and clean it once in a while. Looking at the top of the device, it is compact and very modern. The left we can see a touch power button which is also used to reset factor in the device. On the right we can see another touch button which is used to control the modes of the device. At the both side we can see a button like this which is used to access the air filter. And this is how you can access the air filter by separating the top of the device. While I'm doing this, I want to talk about a little bit about the filter. The filter is made from large area high efficiency filter and large volume high quality activated carbon which can last 6 to 12 months and you don't need to replace filter frequently. And just for fun, this is how under the device looks like. If you end up getting this device or if you already have it, once you take out the filter, make sure to vacuum the inside and also vacuum the filter for a better life span of the device and the filter. Unlike the 3 layer filters for the previous models including the 3H, this 4 light has a filter of 4 layer which also eliminates viruses and bacteria in the air. And as we can see inside, this is the carbon activated layer of the filter. Another thing I want to mention, unlike the 3H model, this device filter does not have an NFC, so you are not forced to replace the filter after its lifespan is done in the app. Moving on, let's go ahead and turn on the device and see what we can do with it. So after we turn on the device, we can right away see the PM2.5 level in the area, we also can see the temperature and another thing that we can see is the humidity. Currently the temperature is displayed in Celsius, if you want to set it to Fahrenheit you have to go to the app, set your location to United States and you can see the temperature in Fahrenheit in the device. 
Looking closely at the device, we can see unlike the previous model including the 3H, this device only has 3 modes, automatic, night mode and manual mode which you have to set it from the app. However, in the previous model you could set it to minimum, medium or maximum from the device itself. So while the device is on, let's go ahead and set up the app. Get your phone, install the Mi Home app and open it. Make sure your device is on and go ahead on the top of the app, click on the plus button and click on add device. Make sure to give all of the permissions including permission to Wi-Fi, permission to Bluetooth and permission to your location in order for the app to find your device correctly. If you do it correctly, the app itself finds the device automatically and you just click on it. Once you do that, look for your Wi-Fi name, tap on it and enter your password. Then tap on next and wait. Once it automatically connects to the device, you can set the room. I'm going to add living room. And then you can set the device name. I'm going to leave it as it is and click on next. And then what you do is to wait again. Once this step is done, finally your device is synced to the app. Now you have to agree with the terms and conditions and now you can control your device from your phone. From the app you can see the PM 2.5, the humidity, the temperature, you also can set the mode to automatic, night mode and you can set it to manual mode which you can set anything you want. Another thing you can see from the app is the estimated remaining days which is 291 days for this device and that is the filter lifespan. From the app you also can change the screen brightness of the display on the device, you can even turn it off. I also want to let you know that if you are interested in updating the framework of the device, you can check out the other video in my channel which I show you how to update the device and if you are getting an error while changing the mode on the app, you also can check out my other videos where I show you how to fix the error. Last but not least, another feature that the device has is a child lock which you can set it from the app and once you do this, none of the buttons on the device work. At the end for any question, please comment below. Other than this, if this video has helped you or if you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel and giving this video a like. Other than this, thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.